rope making facility in the entire world. And my uncle, who's still alive, uh, he's going to turn 92 in July. Uh, he was one of the last managing directors of the Belfast Rope Works. So we're in East Belfast here, so do look at the suburban housing around here. And remember, I will give you a very brief overview of the troubles. Remember, these houses and these areas, they all existed throughout the troubles as well. So you might have seen news reports, etc. And it looked like everyone lived in little tiny houses and were fighting in the street. No, always remember that these types of areas existed at that time as well. We're going to drive past our fabulous parliament building here. It's called Stormont. Think of the word storm with the O-N-T on the end of it. This was a purpose-built parliament building which opened in 1932. If I told you it was built in the 1750s, you would believe me. It sits on top of Stormont Hill in a, an estate of 225 acres. It's 365 feet long and there are six columns outside it that represent the six counties of Northern Ireland. It's got a one mile long processional avenue that leads up to it. And you're going to see it here on your left hand side. So I'm slowing nicely down for us. Have a look at. Wow. What do you think of that? Wow. Isn't that great? Have you ever heard of that building? No. That's what I like to hear. You see, you're getting to see things you've not heard. Wonderful parliament building. However, you'll be really surprised at this, okay? The. Um, our government that existed within that building or that are meant to exist within that building are slightly less than wonderful. The building itself is terrific but the people that work in it are slightly less than. So I will explain this a little bit further in a minute or two but we've got what's called a power sharing government and quite often they fall out with each other and they don't work. At one point we did not have a government for three years. We can't be governed by the government in Westminster in London because we're still part of the United Kingdom. But currently we haven't had a government for around 10 months. But here's the real crux. I'm glad you're all sitting down because this will shock you. It will shock you to your very core. Whilst they're not working, they collect there full salaries. <laughs> oh, no. That's not right. Mm. Do you think we might be in the wrong business, folks? <laughs> yes. Yes. So a brief overview of the troubles. Basically, here in Northern Ireland, some people identify primarily as being Irish, and some identify primarily with being British. And there would have been extremists on either side of that political polemic, that identity polemic, who would have fought to the death. So there are some people that would like to see Ireland reunified in all one country, and then there are some people who would want to see this part remain totally part of the United Kingdom. So it would have been the extremists on either side of that that caused all the trouble. The, trouble was, was, the troubles were between 1969 and 1998. They're sometimes referred to as the war or the conflict. I prefer to use the word troubles. 29 years, we've had an uneasy peace since the 10th of April 1998, called the peace process, and that's when the Good Friday Agreement was signed. And before you embarked on your trip, you might have seen that there were a lot of American dignitaries over here in Belfast, celebrating the fact that we've had 25 years of peace. So I say it's uneasy because though 